I'm Timothy Isles. I'm um, an associate professor of Japanese studies. I'm in the Department of Pacific and Asian Studies. And I focus primarily on contemporary Japanese film, ways in which Japanese film make an argument about and the nature of human identity, individuality, and so on. I'm still uh, uh, fascinated by that topic. Looking at narrative, either you know the written word or a cinematic narrative and so on, that's an opportunity for social criticism. That's an opportunity for social engagement. And, you know, it's true, I work on, on Japanese film and Japanese literature, and that is specific to Japan. But the nature of that criticism, the nature of that dialogue, that really is relevant in any context. You know, there are so many ways that works of art interact with the world around them. Critically, you know, they, they reject ideology or they accept ideology. They try to transform ideology. This is one of the things that I try to emphasize in my classes and in my work too. Japan is technologically important, it's artistically important, it's economically important. China is too. China is going to be increasingly so. Um, Japan has 2,500 years of history dealing with China. Canada has 150. I think we can learn from Japan. Mm -hmm.